Alright guys, welcome back to oh, episode 5 of the Celtic Mind podcast. This is the second time running it around. Because um, um, you guys need a good video, a good audio video. Um, or else it's just been loose talking. You know, you like you like loose talking, but you know, um, well... I'm a fan favourite, <laughs> but I'm not that much of a fan favourite. And of course, we're going to discuss, obviously, the morning after night before Celtic won or Rangers won. Discuss a bit more about... You know, referee, all the penalty claims, all that stuff after the intro. Right, guys. (laughs) After the intro, there, Um, Lewis. What was your thoughts on yesterday's performance? We were good, but could have been better. Yeah, as I said, my um, what do you call it? My review of the game yesterday, guys. If you haven't checked it out, go and check it out. Um, I said we weren't clinical enough. You know, we had chances in the game. Yeah. Turnbull's chance, uh, Edwards' chance. And, and yeah, it was like you could say McGregor's, Mc, Al McGregor's um, saves were good, but at the end of the day, it was just at him. It's yeah. like the the goal, the opposition goalkeepers have super glue in their gloves or something just to get. <laughs> just to get the ball or something it's just like every shot we take it's, it's just going to their lumps it's just like oh god I was mad. <laughs> it's just i still was just oh god right um you know what can we learn from yesterday's um game well we were you know much better against rangers obviously we were the better side um you know we've got the international break coming up so a lot more time to give you know, Greg Taylor's been called up, <coughs> McGregor, and Christie's been called up. I don't know why Turnbull hasn't been called up, but yeah. Um, <laughs> Christie's just a crap Turnbull. Oh god, guys, I've got the I've got the shot to st- statistics for Chris Ryan Christie this season. I'll put it on screen. Oh my oh, god, I, I just searched up. And said, oh my god, good. it's not. It's not. <laughs> um, so, you know. It's not going to be a long podcast, guys, because we discussed it in the first one when I tried to record it, and, um, well, obviously, audio di- difficulties um, went through there. Yeah, it would so, have just been me and... Yeah, it would just been awkward well, talking to Lewis. Really good. Yeah, um, well, Lewis talking to himself, yeah, it wouldn't be very good, but... Um, well, you know, what's the, what was your rate? So we're going to do a rating, Lewis, right? So we'll go back to, fr- uh, fr- uh, back to front, of course, right, from the team, right? What yeah. would you go? I'll start from obviously Scott Bain, who saved that really good shot first, um, straight and goal. Yeah. Right, uh, Ryan Kent. What a save that was from Scott Bain. What are you going to rate him out of ten, Lewis? I'll ask you first. I'll be honest. I didn't watch the game, but basically, what I know, I give him a solid six. Six out of ten. I'm going to give him a seven. Right, that save just buffed it up to a seven. Um, a bit Scott Brown, Lewis. I think he he. Bef- I'm going to. I'll do mine first. I think he made the game. Watch better for Celtic in our midfield and a wee bit of defence as well. Not normally he doesn't do I'm that. Just, I'm gonna give him an eight. Eight out of ten. I'm gonna give him a nine out of ten. I think he was one of the best players for Celtic in midfield. To be honest, um, he, you know he stopped. He yeah. kept quiet for the the Rangers midfield. You know, um, he kept quiet for him. Um, moving on to Turnbull Lewis. Um, not being picked for Scotland. Oh, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. I I couldn't disagree with you. You know, yeah, he had a shot on target. Wasn't was not bad. Um. A few other chances he created, you know, and all good playing apart. But then again, yeah. Kennedy takes him off, not take, not letting him have ninety minutes, which sums up partly our season. Why would you take a, a good player? He's only twenty two, and you want why wouldn't you take Ryan Christie off? Who he's not been one of the best players in the game. I'd, <laughs> well, that Ryan Christie not being one of the best players. I could probably make. A, I could probably make a video on why, like. <laughs> I could probably make a video about 10 reasons why John Kennedy shouldn't be our manager. <laughs> um, moving on to John Joe Kenny. Moving on to John Joe Kenny. Who made that mistake for um, that Rangers goal from the corner. I don't know what he was yeah. thinking of. But, um, yeah, even that, he just, it was just actually more David on the park. Yeah, to so. be honest, yeah. I'm giving him a 5. Yes, a 12, yeah, I'll, I'll give him a, yeah, a 3 out of 10. Sorry, I'll give him a 3 out of 10. Um, moving on to Ryan Christie, why we... Oh, 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 oh. Um, he had a few instances in the game where he was alright, but yeah, it was just another Ryan Christie moments for you. Um, of the season, for it. probably 
Oh, God. You can make a random Taylor's dog about every mistake Brian Christie made this season. Oh, um, probably a, a one out of ten. Every no, I mean, missed shot set <laughs> into Rose Ed. If you've, if you've got your window smashed in the last, you see, in the last, this 2020-2021 season, please call Ryan Christie as he will repair um, every window he has <laughs> smashed. Um, moving on to Odds on Edward, obviously he's moving in the summer to Isle, obviously the, the Premier League you're just walking or you're a security guard or walking near the stadium where he says he takes a shot, then all you feel suddenly is a big thump on the back <laughs> of the side of your head. Uh. Uh, You'd just be ready to say, oh, there's Ryan Christie. <laughs> <laughs> well, that must have been Ryan Christie. <laughs> uh, moving on to Elvis, I said well, Edward. Why? You should not bring small children by the stadium <laughs> as something may damage their no, undeveloped this stones. This is a safety message for all spectators. Please move yeah. 20 metres away. Know, maybe stones aren't really developed Please that, move so. far away from the goal as Ryan Christie may hit you in the face. But, Thank you. I think we figured out why they put the fences around the stadium. <laughs> um, Edward, as I said, they were moving obviously the big Premier League sides or obviously back to France. Um, what would you rate out of 10? Obviously got the, got the assist for El Unice. I'll give him a solid 8. 8 out of 10, I'll go and even that one. Though. I think he was decent in some spells. Again, too much tip, you know, too much um, touch of the... Touch of, yeah. They're like, I would say he's a bit like a man, like the whole team of Man City. Try to put, like, literally yeah. push it into the goal. Like, instead of just hitting it, he just tries to. I don't know. Just, I keep saying he, like, he tries to play for. I think he's thinking playing for France, but you know. <laughs> um, El you know, so obviously get he's the goal. Yeah, El Nusri obviously getting the goal for Celtic yesterday. Lewis, what would you rate him out of ten? What would you say about him? Ten. Ten. Okay, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Some spells obviously got the goal, but some spells he just drifted out of the game. Probably I made a two, maybe took him off for Forrest, you know, switch over the positions. Um, as he played striker I'm with Edward. He's one of the better players. Okay, okay. Along with Turnbull. Okay. Um, moving on to Christopher Iyer, what can you say bad about him? You know, it might not be one of his best games yesterday, but he's played for the jersey, he's this played for that chance for Hmm? Uh, I said that was not 10. Oh, what well, well, I'm there. I don't know. Let's see if my camera comes back on. Yay! Right, there we go. Sorry guys about that. Oh, no, you're on the bloody right hand side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right. Back to the left, guys. Right, here we go. Right. As I was saying about El you say he drifted out sometimes again. I know you said he's probably one of the better players, but um, he's, he, I'll give him a sword. I'll give him the sword in the middle, you know. Oh, he was not bad. Uh, also, yeah. Ayer, sorry. I think I'm going to bring it back to 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, okay. I'm moving on to Ayer now, Lewis. As I said, he's played for that con He's played for that transfer to get, you know, the jersey. You know, he's played yeah. for it. Unlike some people, mm -hmm, uh, Christy, maybe mm -hmm, Edward, you know. <laughs> no mention. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, sorry, I don't know what over me. I just had a cough there. <laughs> um, I swear it's not COVID. You know, probably the best centre back we've had in ages. You know, he came from a striker to a midfielder, and now a centre back. Wow, you know, <laughs> we've seen that in ages. You know, like Barkas, <laughs> from goalkeeper to well, from goalkeeper yeah, to, uh, to to what in the left back. Um, he'll probably be better in our left back now, to be honest. But there you go. <laughs> imagine, imagine Neil Lennon if he was still in charge. Names Barkas at left back. <laughs> You know what? I wouldn't argue. At this point, the season's over. I may as well see if he's actually any good there. Uh, moving on to Cal McGregor, Lewis. What do you think his performance yesterday? Was it good enough, you know, in that midfield? Uh, uh, he was okay. Okay. Now I'm fine. I'm doing something. Was he okay, Lewis? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's...
do 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 do. Anyway, guys, well, Lewis is muted, and I'm muted. Um, what do you think? What did comment down below? What do you think of yesterday's performance, guys? I said in yesterday's video, what do you think of yesterday's performance? Um, we're going to discuss a bit more youth players and all that stuff in a minute once Lewis is back. Um, and yeah. Um, back. I was just doing something. Right, um, right, I'll move on from the player, like, stuff and all that stuff, Lewis. Um, yeah. Now, as I said, when we were doing the first recording of this, um, some youth players, Lewis, um, when we were talking about the manager situation, right? Um, this new guy from obviously RB Salzburg, he produces young players every yeah. year. Unlike Celtic, who produce obviously the best talents every so often, like every four or three, year, three yeah. or four years. The last good one, yeah. I would say, in my opinion, or I don't know if you'd agree, Lewis, Kieran Tierney. Um, of course. No, I lost the goal was Hazard. <laughs> Hazard, yeah. Yeah, I would agree Hazard, but, you know, like, the best, like, the defender, I mean, I don't mean, like, the... Uh, 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 but, um, you know, like, yeah, you got to bring up Hazard, though. It's what He only came up, was it yeah. last year? Would you say last season? I think so. So that's, you know, from Kieran Tierney when he, he left, so that was Arsenal, that was 2018, 19, 20, two years, you know, that's, I don't know. For a, just one youth player, it's not even like a couple, that's one youth player, <coughs> one youth player. I know, um, like, when John Kennedy came in, Tim Maggi brought up, like, Montgomery, from, like, he didn't even play, but he was on the bench, um, you know, we, we've not seen him as a good player, you know, we don't know. Um, but especially for this rebuild, Lewis, we need young players to, you know, Stephen Welsh, yeah. you know, um, probably a good, good player yesterday against Rangers. Um, he's a good player. Yeah. Um, you know, the players in the summer, you know, obviously all depend on the manager, right? So we, hopefully the board have a better understanding, you know, we're going for the coach now, you know, we're going for the, the yeah. director of football. So a, a Chris... Chris Wilder is out the window, of course. He doesn't want yeah. that because I think that's why he left Sheffield United, I think, yeah. I think Sheffield United won that oh, one. Oh, yeah, because he wants a direct director of Sheffield United. So, yeah. your signings are bad because they were. Yeah. And he wanted a director of football and he wasn't very happy about oh, that. Right, okay. So, yeah. Um, as I was saying about the coach, the coach only need good, um, you know, a good mindset because John Kennedy. He, I think he's no. I wouldn't say lost the plot. That's a bit too far. But he's in that way with the line where he takes David Turnbull as I said at the start, twenty two, and um, he brings on. I don't know. He brings Roger right. He comes on and he plays like a thirty four year old. Right, Brown was playing better than him. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> What's you know what is Roger going to do in ten minutes left of the game? And then he, and then he goes to eighty seventh minute. He brings on Griffiths and Sorrow. What are they going to do to change the game in three minutes? Three minutes, what are they going to change, you know? <laughs> I would accept it. Do you know, I, I I noticed this yesterday when I was watching the game, right? So Stephen Gerrard, right, at half time, right, second half started, right? Yeah. He gave that boy Balogun ten minutes in the second half to see if he can change it, right? Because Celtic were dominating that right-hand side, I think, yeah. right? Because he at Bal at Balogun was a centre-back, right? He gave it ten minutes yeah. and he noticed that it wasn't working. So he made the change. He switched it over to Patterson, right? And it made a difference. And then he made a couple of five or ten minutes later, and he thought midfield not looking good, yeah. which bring on good energy. We waited till the 80th minute loose to make a change. All right, our team was playing not bad, but what does that say about John Kennedy? He, he doesn't know when to make a sub. I, he doesn't know at all. So, for me, John Kennedy should be just doing that list, just doing so far that list yeah. you can't see it. Just, <laughs> oh. So, also got um. Guys, like, this is like midway through the podcast, we're going to discuss Lewis. If we can't get that guy from obviously Swalsburg, would you be on the Eddie Howe train, of course? I, I would definitely be. I'm always on the Eddie Howe train. Yeah. Go for the, if you can't get him, at least ask him, you know, ask him the question. Ask him the question, do you want to be the Celtic man? The highest person you can get. Because, you know, what did we do with Brendan Rodgers? We asked him, and he come, you know? <laughs> And he got, he actually got less than into the, the FA Cup semi-final, which is an achievement. They've not been there since in 40 years, so there you go. You know, if, you know, so hopefully we can ask Eddie Howe. Yeah, hopefully we can ask Eddie Howe, but... Um, and good signings in the summer, promising. Come on, we want good signings. We definitely want a good... I know Con Hazard's probably the best goalkeeper we have right now, but... I think yeah. all Celtic fans can agree we want like a more experienced goalkeeper. I know Con Hazard's like, young, you know, as I say. 
Uh, moving on to the end of the podcast, guys, I say subscribe, like, um, the end of the podcast, Lewis, what do you expect from Celtic to the end of the season? Do you expect just to, I just want a season over, to be honest now, to be honest. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just been, you know, from 10 to nothing, like, you know that show, I think it's, yeah. I can't remember that show, they're showing, like, a couple of questions, right, and it's from 10 to nothing. Well, it's pointless, that's what it is. Pointless, that's what it is. 100 to nothing, except from it's 10 to nothing. <laughs> oh. And it was, and it went right down to the pointless, because that's where we were. <laughs> yeah. Um, And, you know, as I said, youth players and all that stuff, guys, you know, it's not been the longest podcast we've done, but, um, as I said, um... Because we've had to redo us, or we have to... I'm going to... Just to uh, say about the Scotland guys, obviously I said Scotland. Um, I'm going to be doing the Scotland v Austria live watch along on my Twitch. It's a Liam MYT. The kickoff is quarter to eight, so I'll be live at half seven for just the you know from before fif- fifteen minutes before kickoff. And yeah, um, yeah, guys, that's all I've got really got to say about the podcast. You know, it's the the morning after the night before, or should I say afternoon? But because we're it's actually ten to two, but yeah. Um, Thanks for watching, guys, uh, episode 5 of the podcast, and I'll see you guys for episode 6 in our time, yeah, in our, in our um, episode, yeah.